I'll be making some arrangements. More flowers here. All of them, well, these ones are from my grandmother's garden. These red tulips as well, they're so massive. Just look at them. And here's my favorite arrangement that I made at the moment. So again, um, pretty much all of them from grandmother's garden, except for hellebores, the green flowers. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what I make. I think today Dorian and I might go to the beach uh, because Rakas will be out with his friends. So we'll go to the beach, I think. And look at the sweet pea. As you guys might know, I'm hoping to grow sweet peas this year myself. So yeah, I just love them. They're some of my absolute favorite flowers. And here's our little cozy clay pillows home. We are back for a little while. Uh, so we'll stay here and then we'll go back to Mirinos. Um, and that's me today in my sweatpants. So I'll do a little vlog. Raka's friends were just here. Um, they stayed for a little bit, picked him up and now they're uh, away for the weekend so Dorian and I are going to the vet um, for a checkup because he has something like a spot on his uh, face or on his lips so I need to check that and make sure he is okay and um, yeah I'll take you guys with me <gasps> Are you who's a heavy dog who's a heavy dog so he had a um, little injection here here wait you cannot see it, but on his lip, there's a little spot. And uh, so yeah, he had an injection to check what's inside the spot, if it's just blood or, um, you know, some other liquid. So anyway, he's okay. It might be just like a, an allergy thing. We give him lots of treats and like little chew bones and whatnot. So it might be because of that. Basically, Dorian will get less treats. Um, but he was super brave. Even the vet said that, wow, he's such a patient dog. Basically, having a pet is a lot of work and responsibility as well. Um, and especially a dog as active as Dorian. He always has something happen to, to him. Like a month ago, he broke off his nail. Like the whole nail uh, was ripped off. And it was such a pain in the bum to change bandages and put medicine and he would try and rip the bandage off but uh, thankfully it healed completely and a new nail uh, has started growing back he'll have a bruise he'll have diarrhea he'll eat something and start vomiting at um, 4 a.m or something so it's always something with him but anyway Dorian is our little ray of sunshine so yeah, ask the vet if the food that we give him is um, good for him. And she said, yes, it's very good food. So yeah, I get him barking heads and we get lamb because a lot of dogs are actually allergic to chicken. So I, I try to avoid chicken. Um, it's usually lamb or salmon or something. Um, and yeah, so this is the one we give. But the thing that I tend to do is I switch the the meat. Food should be constant and not switched as much. So yeah, I think we'll stick to this because he loves it. Then I got uh, these drops uh, for ticks and fleas. So we use these drops every three weeks because now it's the season for ticks. And then we got some medicine, a spray and um, a cream to put on his... He has a bruise on his leg that he got somewhere, right, Dorian? Um, so the vet shaved his, um, his leg a little, right here. You can see it's red. He most likely bruised, because I just saw today him licking his leg. He probably bruised himself um, in my parents' garden because he's just like running around everywhere. So yeah, we'll need to be treating that bruise. And that's 
that's Dorian things. <laughs> now I'll have some lunch and then I'll arrange the flowers and go to the beach. That's a very nice oat milk actually. This one. minute umi a white and orange creation so I went to the beach watched the sunset <laughs> Uh, took pictures of my flowers and completely forgot that I'm vlogging. We took a ball to the beach, so Dorian is going crazy over it. We're going to the beach because it's a super sunny evening today, but extremely windy. I think I'm gonna freeze my bum off because I'm dressed like this and it's gonna be very windy. By the way, these are Yevas and it's a beautiful bush. It smells so sweet. <gasps> so pretty. We found a little spot to sit. It's so beautiful. Super windy though, it's very cold, but so beautiful. gonna plant my cosmos next to my mother's blueberries they will be so gorgeous I think so these are mom's blueberries and I'm just um, planting my Irish bells that I grew myself they will be here Okay, so this is my flower bed. It hasn't germinated yet, so nothing is sprouting at the moment. But there's a bunch of different flowers that will be here. And here in the corner, I've planted my Irish bells, five of them. And here at the front, my pink asters. Some more Irish bells down there. Cosmos. And then five cosmos here and lots of asters I've got some good news Bir Judwana is now in Klaipeda on Hergos Mant uh, street so we got one cinnamon roll unfortunately they didn't have any scarales left and this French bread called Prantsuzaite a Frenchie and it's just the best thing ever look at the squishiness and the crusty outer layer it's so so perfect uh, we basically don't need to go to Paris anymore having this bread here 
so so delicious dorian loves cardboard he just rips all of the boxes apart so excuse the noise in the background but before i end this vlog i wanted to show you this i received a surprise from good taste citizen um a friend of mine who does linen clothing and she did our linen curtain um in Vilnius hall she has created a new collection of blouses linen blouses for the summer and she showed this new material that she found with flowers on it and i put like hard eyed emojis and she decided to gift it to me it's so sweet thank you vida so much look at this gorgeous floral blouse whoa it's so dramatic and big so in the summer when the wind blows it's gonna be so nice and flowy and because it's linen and super airy i just don't have nice bottoms to wear with it i think like white shorts uh, these are just terry shorts um, they're a little too casual for this top i feel like but yeah like white jeans or white little shorts would look gorgeous with this blouse and it's got open sleeves like this to make it look more sort of effortless so yeah thank you vida this is absolutely stunning for our honeymoon holiday i'm definitely taking it with me this summer um so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here my messy bed hair and i'll see you in Vilnius. bye